This video is part one of your summary of the different operations that you do with signed numbers. Um, to, so to summarize this, when you are adding integers, the rule to remember is if the sign is the same, keep the sign and find the sum. And I remember that because it sounds like the Susie sells seashells by the seashore rhyme with all of these S's in it. So for the problems on the right over here, our signs are the same, find the sum problems are going to be 6 plus 2, 2 plus 6, and negative 6 plus negative 2, negative 2 plus negative 6. These are both positive, and for these, they're both negative. So I keep the sign. These started as positive numbers, so they're going to have positive answers. Here, these started as negative numbers, so they're going to have negative answers. 6 plus 2 is 8. 2 plus 6 is also 8. And here, we again find the sum. 6 plus 2 is still 8 and we're going to keep that negative sign. Then part two of the rule says if the signs are different, find the difference and keep the bigger sign. Now I've placed that word bigger inside a set of absolute value bars uh, because I don't mean that the number itself is bigger, I mean that it has a bigger absolute value. Um, so for example, when we're dealing with 6 plus a negative 2, those two numbers have different signs. So we're going to find the difference between 6 and the absolute value of negative 2, the difference between 6 and 2, which is 4. And then we look for the number that has, that we keep the sign for the number that has the larger absolute value. Since 6 is the big number, we're going to keep its sign, and since 6 was positive, the answer is going to be positive. Down here we have the same situation. The numbers have different signs, so we're going to find their difference. But since the negative number is now the one with the larger absolute value, we have a negative 6, our answer will be negative. Over here with this one, again the signs are different, so the answer will be some kind of 4. The larger number, the larger absolute value is negative, so the answer is negative. And with this problem, the signs once again are different, but the one that with the larger absolute value is positive, so our answer is positive. The pattern I want you to notice here is that there were really only two different choices for answers. Six, any combination of any type of six and any type of two is going to be either an eight or a four. And then it's just a matter of figuring out whether it's a positive eight or a negative eight, a positive four or a negative four. So when you're doing these families of problems where all of the digits are the same and just their signs are switching, make sure that you have two of one type of number and two of another. Let's continue on to subtraction. To do subtraction with integers, change all subtraction to addition. and change second sign to the opposite. So much like our rules for division with fractions, where we took all division problems in fractions and turned them into multiplication problems by multiplying by the reciprocal, or our shortcut explanation for that was copy dot flip. We have a similar process that we follow to do subtraction with integers. 
we're going to take all of these subtraction problems, turn them into addition problems, and then change the sign of the number after it. So 6 minus 2 is going to become 6 plus negative 2. 6 minus negative 2 will become 6 plus positive 2. Here we have a plus negative and a plus positive. A plus negative, a plus positive, a plus negative, and a plus positive. Now that they are addition problems, we're going to follow the rules for addition. So these numbers have different signs. The answer is 4 because the 6 is larger than 2. These numbers have the same sign, 6 plus a positive 2, so the answer is 8. These numbers also have the same sign, negative 2 and negative 6, so we find their sum and keep the sign. Here we have a negative 6 plus a positive 2. The signs are different, so the answer is 4. And because the 6 is the larger number and it is negative, the answer will be negative 4. 2 plus a negative 6, signs are different, so we find the difference. Keep the sign to, on the 6. Here the signs are the same, so we find the sum. Here the signs are the same, we find the sum. Don't forget to keep the sign. Here the signs are different a negative 2, a positive 6, so we find the difference, and since the 6 is positive, our answer is also positive. Please come back for part 2.